What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with Lakers star forward Kyle Kuzma. I'm looking here right now, and I'm like located in the candy store. Going to do some sneaker shopping tonight. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yes, sir. Let's go. Kyle, Flint, Michigan, spent a lot of days at the YMCA balling out. Mm -hmm. What shoes were you wearing back then? Uh, definitely no Air Maxes. Right. Uh, but for sure, all Nikes. Mm -hmm. um, I pretty much always wore Nikes relative to going to college, but you know, always like the Vince Carter's old so shocks. BB4s. Um, Hirachis. Mm -hmm. I was a big Hirachi guy. Okay. Um, Air Max 360s was a hoop shoe at one point, mm -hmm. fire too, so. And what was it like, you know, I, I read that you were going to the malls, big box retailers, like yeah. Finish Line, every weekend. Were you, at a young age, even into sneakers? Um, I always was. Mm -hmm. You know, I never really had, like, the money uh, necessarily to get, you know, sneakers or the plugs, but I would always, as a kid, have the East Bay book. Right. And, you know, always looking at the catalogs and going online and doing everything, so. At a young age, I knew a lot of shoes, for sure. You said coming up you weren't a big Air Max fan, but I've seen you in Air Max 97s. What Air Max are you a fan of? Uh, you know, I, I rock with the 97s. The 95s are dope mm -hmm. to me. Just At most. Just sparking my eye. You know, I have these as well. Dumb fire. Yeah. But this is one of my favorite ones, for sure. As a Definitely. Um, colorway is crazy, you know, and it's dope, too. Like a lot of people on the show, I read Jordan 1's your favorite shoe. Easy. I don't even know how many I have, quite frankly, yeah. but I got a lot for sure. The mm -hmm. Chicago's are dope. Top threes. Um, Lane, I got I, I Tons. too many. Too many. And then what other models? I know that you like the 10. You even said the 10 to ball in is, is a really good shoe. What models of Jordans besides the ones do mm. you like? For sure, the fours. Fours are dope. Yep. I love the militaries and the cement fours. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of endless. Yeah, I got a lot. Tens are good to hoop in. Yeah. I like sevens. I so like you're a little, all over. Bit of you, yeah, you like a lot of a Jordans. A little bit of everything. Do you remember your first pair of Jordans and how you got them? Oh, man. I didn't get my first pair of Jordans. I was in college. Really? I think it was in college. Actually, I stole one of my friends in high school, but he wore like two sizes ahead of me. Double socked no, it or what? No, I double socked it. It was okay. a size ahead. I just double socked it. But officially in college, for sure. Oreo okay. fives. Oreo fives? Yep. Nice. So, yep. but in high school, you, you took your friend, he let you keep rock with them or what? He didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to know now, though. Kyle, big Kobe guy. You rep him a lot on the court. You've worn like almost every Kobe sneaker. For sure. What's it like to, you know, be part of the Lakers legacy and to wear his sneakers and support him a lot? It's dope. You know, I grew up as a Kobe fan uh, ever since I was a young kid watching him play. You know, I, I try to take certain parts of my game and put them from his. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for me, he's obviously a big part. Everybody knows that I wear Kobe's. Yeah. You know, I'm looking here right now and I'm like a little kid in the candy store. So many, Got right? Bruce Lee's. Yep. These joints, all the fours, it's, it's a dope collection. You wear the, the ones, the pro the ones, that they did? The pro everything. The threes down there, it's fire. You mentioned the Shocks BB4s over there. Yeah. And, you know, we just talked about Kobe's, but one shoe that you said is your favorite, a classic that the kids may not know, the Dada Spinners. Oh, yeah, the Trail Spreewells. The Trail Spreewells. Oh, I had those. Is it time for those to come back or nah. what? Them, nah, you don't think washed. they're ever going to come back? Nah. But how cool were they? I remember working they were the finish cool. line and the, the rim spinning. Yeah, one time my rim came out, though, so. Oh, really? It didn't end up well for me on the basketball court. You balled in them? I did. Okay. It was like fifth grade, but it didn't work out too well. Yeah, so I don't think those are coming back. <laughs> no. We've seen you in LeBron's. Obviously, you play with him. I saw you in the St. Vincent, St. Mary 11s. Yep. Do you ever surprise him when you walk into the locker room? Uh, I have before. Okay. I've actually wore a super rare shoe by him. You know, it was a 2003, like, I forgot what shoe it was. Mm -hmm. But I walked in, it was his actual shoe that he wore during the preseason. Game. Wow. So I walked in, and I got on the bus, and I'm, I'm, I'm giddy like this. And I sit down, and I'm just, he keeps looking at him like this. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, that's, that's the one time I probably wore something that kind of really surprised him. Lance Stevenson, he's on the team too. He went pretty hard with kicks this year. Super hard. Yeah. He needs he needs his credit as a, a sneakerhead in the league. You know, he don't really get too much, but he's got all the heat. And he yeah. wore a different shoe every single game. Yeah, I saw that. And any competition between you guys or what? Uh, Lance, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to mess with Lance because he was playing in everything. He was playing in from Jordans to Nikes to Kobe's to Tommy Hilfiger Kiff shoes. Crazy. Like, it was like crazy. So. 
you were one of the first players to debut the Nike Adapt BBs. Definitely. What was it like to play in that and technology? You know, you talked about being a kid at the YMCA in Flint and then having shoes to play in that lace up electronically. Uh, it, you know, it was an honor first, mm -hmm. you know, one to be a Nike athlete and, you know, to actually be a part of a project to where I'm one of the focal points of, you know, really releasing a shoe. Mm -hmm. um, so that on its own is, you know, pretty special to me. But then to wear a shoe that's, you know, pretty much revolutionary in the sneaker world and having a shoe that, you know, you just push a button on it, it's, it's crazy for sure. And I got to ask, what did you do with the PEs, the black and purple ones? You still have them in the stash? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I don't wear those too often just because it's my first PE. Uh, so I'm going to let that one sit. But you know, I got multiple pairs. Good first PE to have, though. Yeah, definitely. So news breaks the GOAT deal. Yes, yeah, sir. Unprecedented deal for a reselling app to lace an athlete. When did that come about? Uh, it came about, you know, maybe a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. You know, I started a relationship with them, um, you know, getting my sneakers to them, and then I really took it to, you know, another business level yeah. and, um, you know, created a partnership to where a reselling app is not a competitor to no other stream that I have. And yeah. to, to join them and have any type of sneaker I want and really express myself as a sneakerhead and someone off the floor as well as on the court is dope. And the one thing about that is you said that Everyone thinks professional ball players could get all these rare sneakers. It's a mm -hmm. little tougher than people think, mm -hmm. probably because you're always traveling. Goat allows you to get whatever you want. Exactly. Um, I'm always traveling and, you know, it's hard to really go into a mall or something to, you know, find a sneaker my size and to have Goat as, you know, someone that's in my back pocket to mm -hmm. get shoes is, is easy. It's night and day. Anyone on the team ever be like, listen, I know you have the plug. Is there anything everybody, you could... Everybody. Really? Everybody does. Everybody wants to plug. Except for <laughs> Brian. You know, he, he's Nike. Yeah, he he's good. He is Mr. Nike, so he's good. But Lance, JaVale, those are my guys. And they ask. Stop asking. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shells. See what you're going to take home. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, man. How can I help you today? Definitely trying to get these. these Definitely trying to get these dunks. What That's size? What, uh, 15. 15. Definitely. Gotcha. Next. What we at? I'm trying to get these fair god joints. Okay, fire. Yep. Oh, and then finally, I want to get these spoons right here. Oh, yeah. Crazy pickup. Definitely. All right, man. I got yes, you coming out sir. right now. Appreciate it. What's up, G? What up? What up? Let's see what you got. All right. Your total is $2,868.90. Go ahead and slide your card, G. Yep. All right, cool. You good. Man, we got the small bags yeah, today. It's all good, player. Man, there you go, cool. G. Cool. Appreciate it, bro. All right, man. Yup, for sure. Be easy. Yup. So, Kyle came through, got some new pickups. Thanks so much for taking the time. Oh, appreciate you letting me come, man. No doubt. Make sure everyone checks them out on court next season.